Hey guys, this is Ify and welcome back to my kitchen. <music> guys, today I'm all about showing you how to transform white rice into something truly special. Guys, white rice, by white rice, I'm talking about that rice that you just cook with just some salt and water, nothing special to it. You know, when you have leftover in your fridge, now that's what I'm talking about. We're going to transform it into something that is brand new and very, very exciting. Not only that, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious sauce that you can pair with that rice and everybody's going to be saying, Ooh la la! <laughs> Guys, are you subscribed to my channel? If you haven't, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can um, receive updates anytime I post, okay? So without further ado, let's dive right into this. Cooked rice, onions, salted butter, parsley, oregano, garlic, seasoning powder and some salt, white pepper, chopped garlic, spring onion, curry powder, coconut milk, chopped parsley, fresh prawns. I'm going to be showing you how to make my butter herb fried rice, a very simple way to transform your white rice into something delicious okay so just added some cooking oil in here and I'm going to add some butter okay now this butter will add a whole lot of flavor to the rice you don't want to you know miss the steps so some cooking oil some butter and I'm just going to some cooking oil some butter and then we can add some onions, some ginger, some garlic. I'm not using ginger in this recipe, but if you want to, feel free to do so. I always say it's your dish. Feel free to explore, all right? Great. So I'm just going to go ahead to put in some onions, some finely chopped onions. We'll saute it in this oil and the butter so it releases some flavor. It flavors the butter and the oil mm -hmm. I can go on with the rest of the ingredients a little more butter never hurts anyone okay so I'm gonna be adding some oregano this is my herbs I'm using dried oregano you can use fresh one if that's what you have some fresh parsley goes in as well I'm just gonna cook this in the onions and the garlic. Mm, oh my gosh. This is such a simple recipe, but it goes a whole long and like it totally transforms your rice. So I'm going in with the rice. So I've had this rice in my fridge for two days now. Perfect, perfect rice to use. Looky. Go in with some white pepper just to give it some heat, just a little, and some seasoning powder just a tiny little bit. So be careful here if your white rice is over salted and you want to be careful. If not, then you can add some chicken seasoning powder, you know, just to. Give it some more taste and basically revamp the whole dish. You see how it's looking? And of course, feel free to use whatever herbs you have. What I had at home was just oregano and parsley. If you have rosemary, some fresh thyme, you know, just go in there, some fresh dill. And you can substitute, either you use fresh or um, dried herbs, it's totally fine, okay? So make sure you do this on high heat until the rice is thoroughly warmed through. And we're done. We're ready. <laughs> wow, how easy was this? How easy. Mm. 
herby, battery, flavorful look. So, so beautiful. Very few ingredients and this is a whole new dish. Amazing. So guys, this is my prawn sauce, okay? And I have my fresh prawns here, which I have cleaned and deveined, very important. And I've also dried it so that when I'm cooking it, it does not release um, water and then steam instead of stir fry, okay? Very important. So the vein and dry it, okay? So I've ha I have seafood mix here. I'm just gonna season this with it. It contains everything, black pepper and all the seasonings. I love it. So when I'm using it, I don't have to use multiple seasoning. It's perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure every part of the prawn is well seasoned. Okay, I'm going to add some butter in here because everything tastes better with butter. <laughs> so some butter goes in. And some cooking oil. Okay. Yeah. This is hot enough. I'm gonna add in the prawns right here. Lovely. Mm. Wow. It smells so good. So after about five minutes, I'm going to take it off the heat because I'm going to recook it in the prawn. So I don't want to overcook my prawns, all right? So it goes out. And I'm going to go in with a little more there's the oil and butter here, but I'm just going to go in with a little bit more because I think I need some more. Great. Okay, so in the hot oil, I'm going to add in onions. A lot of it because onions just make food so delicious. Right, to okay. uh, Please do not wash your pan for any reason. The same pan that you cooked your prawns, or if you're using fish or chicken, the same pan, do not wash it, please. Lots and lots of flavors in here. So I'm going to cook this for about a minute and a half before I add in my garlic. All right, now, so I'm going to add in my garlic. Mm. The aroma, amazing. So good. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some chopped atarudu. You can use dried chili if you have some. Okay, there we go. Lovely. And I'm adding some curry powder. Some curry powder. Perfect. I'm going to give everything a good mix and let this curry powder cook for about four minutes, okay? Oh, look at the beautiful color. Mmm. For about five minutes. I'm, I'm going in with my coconut milk. Mmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mmm. So good. So while that is in there, I'll go ahead to flavor it, add some seasonings, okay? So here it goes. And a little bit of salt, okay? I'm also gonna be adding a little of my seafood seasoning as well. Just a little. I'll give it a good mix. And taste to see that all the seasonings are just right. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. Oh my god. Look at that. So good. Look. 
So I'm going to add the prawns back here and all the juice, everything. Mm -mm -mm. This is a very rich, rich sauce. It's going to be coconutty with the prawns. So good. All the onions, the garlic, the pepper, everything in here. Wow. I'm gonna add some spring onions, okay? I'll cover this and allow the prawn to soak up some of that sauce for about five minutes and then it's ready. This looks so, so good. Cheers guys. Beautiful. I'm speechless. Wow. This is so good. I can feel the heat from this cut bonnet. The onions, the garlic, the curry, the parsley, everything. Mm. And that rice, mm, mm, mm. 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 the prawn cooked to perfection. So good. Butter herb rice was mm, so good out of this world. And the prawn sauce, mm, 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 simply delicious. Guys, you really have to recreate this recipe and let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Will you be using prawns or fish or chicken? Let me know which protein you'll prefer to use, okay? Don't forget to share my video with your friends and your family and also, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like watching this video. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Ify and this is my kitchen. I'll see you sometime soon. Until then, take care of yourselves and keep eating good food. Bye.